Let's compare creating a revolve feature in Creo Parametric and SolidWorks. This time I'm going to start in Creo Parametric. I am using the same model that I created in the base extrude video. So in Creo Parametric, when you use a sketch to create another feature, they make a copy of the sketch inside of the feature. This is called an external sketch. Also, it automatically hides the sketch. I'm going to make that sketch visible again, just so that you can see it on this side of the part. And I'm going to leave the extrude in here for a moment when I create my first revolve. So I will select the sketch, and then to create the revolve feature, you can click on the icon from the mini toolbar, or you can click on it from the ribbon. And now it wants to know what I, oh, let's select the sketch. And it wants to know what I want to use as the axis of revolution. Let me select a curve from the sketch. You can use a center line, or you can use an entity from the sketch, or you could use any geometry like a straight edge in the model if you want to. And because I already had geometry, it automatically created this revolve as a cut. That's the default. But I can use the right mouse button in order to bring up the mini toolbar to turn off the option to have it remove material. And in this situation, it adds material. Also on the screen, we've got a drag handle that we can use to control the angle of the feature that is being created. But let's go back to the default of 360. You can see that they automatically provide multiples of 90 degrees in here. And again, I can create this as a revolve feature for removing the material. Let's take a look also at some of the options for the depth of the feature. Right now it's set to variable, you could change it to symmetric. I can also change it to two selected and say that I want this surface. Oops, let's flip it. Which one? Let's flip it, there we go. Uh, in order to say that you know we want it to be driven by geometry in the model. So this is how you can use a revolve feature in order to remove material. Let me hit the check mark. So there we have that one in the model. Let's go about deleting the revolve. I'll right click on it and choose delete. And let's also do the same thing for the extrude. Right click and delete it. I wanna essentially use the sketch for creating a new base feature. So there I have my sketch. And like before, we can go to the sketch and then use the revolve command. And for the placement, we have the collector for the axis of revolution. And what you pick as the axis of revolution does make a difference in the geometry that's being created. And right now, the axis of revolution collector is still active. We can change it from one entity to another entity and see the resulting geometry that we end up getting. But let's leave that entity as the option. One other thing that I want to show you in here is that you can create this as a non-solid feature, as a surface feature. And you can also, if you have this as a solid feature, you could create this as a thin-walled feature. And right now, because it's a closed sketch, it's actually going to be thin on the inside. And you have a flip button that allows you to flip the direction of the feature. And few of them it didn't like because it would be going out into infinity. But if we leave this as a thin walled feature, let me use a slightly bigger value for the thickness that we have. I'm gonna hit the check mark for a moment and then I can go to the view tab and let's try a section, oh, X direction, that's not what I want. Let's try the Y direction, there we go. Here you can see how it is hollow on the inside show some cross hatching in there. And let me cancel out of creating the section. Let's go back to the revolve and then I can edit definition and turn off the option that makes it a thin walled feature. So that is how you can create a revolve in Creo Parametric, either as a feature that adds material, removes material, or as a non-solid surface. Let's, oh yeah, also another thing to take a look at. 
you can do different depths in both directions. So right now we have a variable depth of 360 degrees. I'm going to drag it out over here. Let's say that we want it to be 60 degrees in that direction. Well, I can right mouse click and hold and you can either check the option for side two depth or just go right to side two and make it variable and then drag it out to whatever angle that you want it to have in that direction. So let's hit the check mark and now we will jump over to SolidWorks and take a look at creating a revolve over there. If you take a look in the feature list or feature tree, you can see that we have the sketch that we created and it is located inside of the thin extrude. Now, one interesting thing about this is that if I select the thin extrude and then edit the feature, let's say I decide that I no longer want it to be thin, I will uncheck the box for thin feature and then hit the check mark over here hey, it is still a thin feature. This is an interesting quirk about SolidWorks. When you create a feature as a thin feature, it's kind of going to be a thin feature from then on. If you don't want it to be a thin feature, well, then you would have to delete it and create another feature. Let's take a look at doing that. I'm going to right click on the feature and then choose delete. And here we have it, delete the following options. You also have the option here to delete absorbed features, and the absorbed feature is the sketch. I do not want to delete the absorbed feature. I want to use it, so I'm not going to check any of these boxes over here. Let's click the Yes button. And so now we have our sketch. Let's create an extruded boss, and we're going to select the sketch that we want to use. Let me drag this out a distance. And again, I really don't care what the distance is. I just want to show you creating a revolve in here as well. Let's hit the check mark for our solid feature. And then we have our sketch. I'm going to select the sketch. And then if I want to have this remove material, let's go to the revolved cut. And for my axis of revolution, let me select this edge over here. You can see a preview of the geometry that's being created. Here we're going to leave it at 360 degrees. Let's hit the check mark. And that way we have the feature removing material. If I want this to then add material, well, unfortunately I can't just edit the feature and then toggle it from adding material to removing material. I'm actually going to have to delete the feature and let's click the yes button out of there. Now I can select the sketch and then we can choose to create a revolved boss or base. And once again, I need to select my axis of revolution. Here it's going through 360 degrees. You can change the angle over here. And let's see, we have, let's change it to say 45 degrees. You can see how it is being created here. And let's try dragging the angle and you can see how the angle changes over there. That's good. Let's also take a look at creating the direction to depth. And right now it is a blind depth. Let's grab this drag handle and see. Oops, I got it 270 over there. Let's try something a little smaller. By having 270, it ends up being like having a blind depth or excuse me, a blind angle of 360 degrees with only one direction. So that's how you can do the direction one and direction two angle for the feature. Let's change this back. I'm gonna change this to 360 so you can see how it looks. Let's hit the check mark. And so there we have the revolved boss or base. Let's get rid of the first extrude. I'm gonna right click on it and choose delete. And I want to delete this. Let's see, let's not delete the child features. Hit the yes button. And so now I've got my revolve. Let's edit the feature. And you can see that right now the revolve 
has the direction one, direction two. I do not have the ability to change it to a thin feature right from here. So again, if you make it a solid feature, it's a solid feature. If you make it a thin feature, it is a thin feature. If I wanted this to be thin, well, let's right click on it and choose delete. And I do not want to delete the absorbed features. Let's hit the yes button. Let's select the sketch. Let's do a revolved boss base feature and I'll do 360 degrees. Let's choose our axis of revolution. Let's do this as a thin feature and hey everyone, my brain was not working when I was trying to create the thin revolve. Let's take a look at doing that. Let's go back to the features tab. Let's go to the revolved boss base. Let's select our sketch and Oops, let's change our axis of revolution. There we go. Now I will check the option for a thin feature. Here's a value of 10. I forgot that this model is much smaller with the dimensions than I used in the other part. Hey, let's use a value of 1. And let's flip to the inside. Now you can see how we're getting a representation of this as a thin walled feature. I can hit the check mark and this is now hollow on the inside just like before if i go back to this and then edit feature well you'll notice that the thin feature checkbox is now grayed out this is a thin revolve it is and always shall be as long as it exists in that fashion and one other thing to note if i wanted to create this as a surface in the last video i activated the surfaces tab here we can choose to create a revolved surface as a feature. So again, with SolidWorks, a little different than Creo Parametric in the fact that you have separate commands for creating solid that adds material, solid that removes material, and also creating a non-solid surface feature. Whereas in Creo Parametric, it is all within the same revolve tool or extrude tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshow.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.